Issue 22 The story starts out with Eggman transforming himself so that he looks like Sad AM Robotnik for the sake of consistency with the American continuity. Wasn't that a legal thing, forcing them to do it? Well, good, this makes this feel more comic-like and unique from the games. Now I can take him more seriously, now that he's not in his ridiculous, classic, egg-shaped design. Sonic tells Grimer that he doesn't even like Amy, and Grimer just disbelieves him, thinking that he's manipulating him to let Amy go. Sonic continues, How can anybody believe I'd go out with someone like her? She's nothing but trouble! I guess because she has no special powers, and yet is still feisty, so she gets kidnapped a lot for her sass. But Tails has gotten kidnapped way more than her so far. Johnny lampshades how Rudy's being in front of Amy, saying that maybe they can continue this after the escape. I wonder if Amy's about to cry. Nope, she doesn't seem to react. Sonic calls Eggman's new design ugly with a smirk, naturally because of the black and red eyes, and Eggman says that soon all and Eggman says that soon all three of them will be converted into super badniks, and they'll never be changed back afterwards. Sonic pushes the bubble and tells Johnny to do the same. Johnny naturally lampshades how this seems like a desperate last resort, but fortunately something more realistic happens as the bubble falls off the thing it was precariously positioned on and not fixed on too tightly for some reason. This lets them roll the ball away like a hamster ball. And for some reason Johnny thinks Sonic's not serious about defeating some robots with the ball at first. He complains about motion sickness and the robot shoots the ball and frees them. Sonic asks him if he's okay with a smirk as he's still dizzy, and Amy, who looks covered in metal, says that she can already feel the badnik program trying to take over her mind. Sonic is told to rescue her, and asks, do we have to? I mean, couldn't we just pretend that we never saw her? Then he lies that he was only kidding, because Johnny objected to it. I sort of understand his reaction, I'm sure a lot of people had the same reluctance to save Amy and Sonic CD. And I know for a fact, at least two people did. Conveniently, it turns out Amy was simply trapped in a hollow metal shell and not literally roboticized, as all Sonic has to do is spin attack at her to free her. She says she's free happily, and Sonic snarks, don't remind me. He drags her behind him while running at super speed, and fortunately for Johnny, Amy thought to grab him so Sonic wouldn't leave him behind to his doom. Grimer finishes smashing up the robot that shot the bubble apart earlier, and then I make a plane to making me giggle, do my eyes deceive me, or are you smashing the last badnik that could have caught Sonic? Grimer says cheapishly that he got a little carried away. <coughs> and Eggman yells, Carried away? Carried away? When I finish with you, you'll need to be carried away. <laughs> and yet he remains his chief scientist for the rest of the comic. So clearly he holds back against Grimer since he thinks he needs him. If this is Grimer's shtick, the whole comic, messing things up for Eggman because of a short temper and stupid genre blind robots, then I think I look him better than Sadly already. At least this guy is more charisma. Their dynamic is amusing, better than Snively just being this snivelling suck up to Eggman while plotting ineffectually against them. Meanwhile, Johnny reasons that Amy has to join the Freedom Fighters for her own protection since Amy's since Eggman is convinced that she's Sonic's girlfriend. So that's the first important and useful and necessary thing Johnny does. And I gotta commend this comic for the first, as Archie took forever to make Amy a Freedom Fighter. I just made her uselessly stand around for a while. After she admits that she's not Sonic's girlfriend, Grimer, who has only a small bandage on his forehead since Eggman went easy on him, says that the final tests for Operation Metalix are positive, which Eggman likes the sound of. This issue was by Nigel Kitching, and as Sonic and Johnny push the bubble they're trapped in off the pedestal that it wasn't fastened to with a screwdriver or superglue right away for some reason, and when they're rolling around, a robot shoots, destroying the bubble and letting them escape with Amy. It was about to be basically roboticized if it made more sense, though not really. I can't understand how programming can take over your mind without replacing your mind with roboticizing it. And there was no nanobots being sent into her brain. She was just going to be put in a hollow metal shell. How'd that do anything to her mind? Just gave her armor. And the story ends with Grimer showing his amusing character shtick and dynamic with Eggman by smashing a robot on him for freeing the heroes, and Amy joins the Freedom Fighters for her own protection from Eggman way earlier than Archie, so good job! This was fun. I especially loved the carried away joke. 